Hi guys, today I will show you how to remove the rear bumper in Volvo XC40. Remove two bumpers uh, right here. You just twist them uh, counterclockwise and remove one on this side and the, the second one right here. Now you'll need to remove this mud guard. You'll see a couple of uh, bolts there and the clip. Also, you'll have to remove this wheel arch trim, the black one, and you'll see a number of bolts on the bumper itself. I believe there are five of them. All of them are Torx 25 bolts, and in order not to remove the wheel, we'll actually use this uh, Vera set, uh, which has the Torx bit, and it's small enough in order for us to reach uh, all the necessary bolts, again, without removing the rear wheel. And we'll also use a small flat screwdriver to pry it open. Again, you have to press first in the middle and then pry it open. And now we can remove the two bolts here. Now you will need to repeat the same procedure on the other side. Underneath the bumper you will also see four bolts which we need to remove as well. So we'll do them before we uh, continue the wheel arch the bolts. Again, it's Torx 25. And there are two more on the other side. And now we can undo wheel arch screws. There are five of them, and now we'll remove another five on the other side. Okay guys, so basically we have to start pulling on this side, from the inside part basically of the car, and you will see a number of plugs, and then in the end, on the other side, please keep that in mind, we've got a hook on this side, obviously you should start from the other side, the removal not from this one. When you guys do this procedure, some clips unfortunately may break. We have one broken one, which was uh, located right here. And if you take a look inside, the other white part is actually can be visible from here. So it's a good idea to have a set of extra uh, clips when you guys do this procedure. Also, as you can see, some of these rubber gaskets uh, got stuck to the frame, so you have to remove them and uh, put them back on on the uh, good plugs again in this case we only broke one which is not too bad but as i said you should have a separate uh, set of these plugs and one more time i want to point out this hook on this side goes in there so when you do the removal, again start from this side, because if you break it, it will be loose and you might end up uh, getting this whole part. You repeat the process on the other side, again start from the inside.
and in this case looks like we managed manage to save all of them which is good and again guys if you need any of these I'll try to leave you a link in the description for these plugs again we have some of these washers uh, uh, still stuck to the frame put them on the plugs uh, the purpose of these is to prevent any rattling when this piece is attached to the vehicle and I believe they're called uh, anti-rattle washers to remove our bumper cover, first we'll have to fold this and uh, underneath you'll see a couple of latches that hold our cover in place, so we'll have to use either our fingers or trim removal tool to first uh, pull it like this to unlock this latch and there's another one on top which is now accessible because we removed uh, this uh, trim piece first. So as you can see we had to use the trim removal tool to press um, on the latches inside which we'll show you guys shortly but as you can see we managed to uh, remove the front part now. Now we'll do the same on the other side again locate these latches and uh, remove the trim from, uh, from them. Guys, and now you have to pull this part of it, and you can see it starts to come out as well. Now, again, we'll use the trim removal tool to pry it, pry, and at the same time, we're trying to push on those latches, and this will release uh, this bumper cover. There it is. One more time. This is how you do it. You push right here, and this will allow us to uh, remove uh, the cover. And now we'll keep pulling, and as you can see, it starts to come off everywhere. And at this point, you need the second person, preferably in order not to drop uh, the cover and this is how you do it right here we have the connector that needs to be removed as well so you have to push on this step very firmly to release the latch show once more time so push on this step you feel a click and now you could remove it all right our bumper is off i'll show you guys again how it gets uh, removed first of all we have two different types of uh, uh, hooks here uh, we have one two three four five six uh, like this and uh, these guys correspond to there is one right here two three uh, four, five, six, and in this case, you can try to manually pull them off, or you can use the trim removal tool trying to press on top of them, which here way it's easier. There's no uh, perfect solution, so you basically can try both. We manage not to break anything, and this is how it looks. Uh, on the top, we have uh, three like this, so as you can see, this is different type now. 
and uh, this is where it gets connected on the vehicle so in this case actually using the trim removal tool worked uh, better these hooks on the other side will be the same another thing that we want to point out is that um, we have these two openings on each side which correspond to uh, these metallic hooks here one and two and you have to keep them in mind when, uh, when you remove it it's you, you have to just kind of lift it up and down and they will come off these guys here they will come off on their own and these were you will see the marking okay one two three four so it just goes in slides in so it comes out very easy Okay, so I'll quickly show you what we have inside here. We have our again main connector, we've got exhaust uh, pipes, we have our kick sensor right here. Uh, besides that, we have connectors for the fog lights, we've got parking sensors, and again, guys, this is how it looks. So right now, we will reinstall the rear bumper. Installation is being done in the reverse order of removal. We put the bumper cover on, I'll show you guys how it looks now, well similar to when we were removing it, now the goal is to make sure that it's all aligned properly everywhere uh, before we actually start inserting everything back and uh, in the, on the bottom I'll show you guys, make sure that this plastic is actually below the metal. So start pressing in the middle first. Then you'll be able to do the sides. So make sure that this piece goes on the top like that. So make sure this part is latched and that one as well. Our bumper is on, again guys will give you a quick guide. First start on the top here, make sure it all snaps in, at the same time you have to be, uh, you have to make sure that uh, the bottom sits on top of the metal then slowly work your way up to this area, uh, to these hooks, and then we'll be able to do this side, and the same thing on the other side, first this area gets done, and then we'll be able to finish it off right here. Now we will install this trim piece, first start from here, from the left, Now the left side again, this end goes in first. Now we want to make sure that clips align with the openings. And then press. Don't forget to install these. Insert and clock and turn clockwise. Now we can reinstall the bolts. There are four of them holding the bumper uh, on the bottom. And two more on the left. The mud flaps go back on. So 
there's a plug. And two screws go in as well. Now we have to reinstall the five screws. So if you go to the plastic that is why it should be hand tight only, no, no torque to pull. And now we have to install the mudguard and uh, these five bolts on the other side as well.